Greetings in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am privileged to have this opportunity to speak the word of God into our lives by the grace of God. And I'm excited as always to thank God for the privilege to be called his son. And so are we privileged to be called his children. What a wonderful morning. My name is Pastor Johnston Sacco coming to you live on the scripture prescription this morning. I'd like us to pray and then we'll listen to the voice. Our Father and our God, we bless you this morning. We thank you because of your loving kindness. We thank you, Lord, for everything you have prepared for us for the day. We acknowledge your goodness. We acknowledge your mercy. We acknowledge your grace. We acknowledge your power. And we know the privilege that you have made to us. And so this morning, as we receive your word and your voice, we ask that, Father, you continue to glorify yourself in us in the name of Jesus. I want to give you glory and honor, adoration, power and authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that you are lifted, you are honored and you are magnified in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way this morning in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So good morning. I want to speak about a subject, trust and obey. Trust and obey. Trust is the confidence we have in God that he will keep his word. Obey is the desire and determination to do every instruction that we receive from God. So I'm here to talk about trust and obey. I want to read the Bible in the book of Psalms, chapter number 33, verse number 18 to 22. And I'm reading from the Good News Translation of the Bible. Psalms 33, verse number 18 to 22. The Lord watches over those who obey him and those who trust in his constant love. He saves them from death. He keeps them alive in the times of famine. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our protector and our help. We are glad because of him. We trust in his holy name. May your constant love be with us, Lord, as we put our hope in you. Now, this scripture is so explicit and rich in what God will do when we trust and obey him. In fact, he says the Lord watches over those who obey him. Now, when you say you are being watched over, it means some superior power focuses on your interests. There's nothing as amazing as that. The Lord watches over those who obey him and those who trust in his constant love. In other words, God's love for us is constant. If you read John 3.16, then you will look at the events preceding Jesus Christ going on the cross and the actual, indeed, the occurrences at the cross. Then you can appreciate God's constant love for us. Even when we are not righteous in the way of the cross, God still loved us. Even when we are still living in darkness, God still loved us. The Bible says, the Lord watches over them who obey him and those who trust in his constant love. Then it goes further to say, he saves them from death. He keeps them alive even in times of famine. So no matter challenges that come our way, the Lord is watching our back. No matter what schemes are being created against your life, God watches our back. And so this morning, I want us to have a big heart. A big heart to accommodate situations, but we know that God is serving the best of our interests. Accommodate have a big heart because not everybody in your environment will be able to do the very best that works for you. But even then, 
will still trust in God, that God is in control. Even when we do not understand or know what is going to happen, we still, we still trust and obey. God told Abraham, come out of the land of your people to a land that I will show you. And Abraham obeyed and moved. And is reputed as the father of nations. When we trust and we obey, we trigger into action God's resilient power to bring to us the results that he desires in our best interests. This morning, I urge you to trust and to obey. In some other moments, another sermons are preached on this platform. I've said trusting and obeying sometimes even when we do not understand. We still trust and obey. Praise the Lord. So this morning I urge you to trust the process, to trust God because he watches over those who obey him and those who trust in his constant love and who will save you from death and keep you alive even in times of famine. There is nothing that God does not know. There is nothing that God does not understand. Even when we have got no direction, when we have got no solution to issues that come in our way, God still knows. God still knows. God still has got the blueprint of the plan that he has concerning your life and my life. So I therefore came this morning to encourage you. Trust and obey. Trust and obey. Even in moments of death, in moments of famine, the Lord is still watching your back. The Lord is watching your back. Trust and obey. Trust and obey. May the good Lord bless you and I hope that the Holy Spirit gives us even more revelation about what I'm talking about. And I have no doubt in my mind that the Lord will deeply bless your life. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you because of your love. We thank you because of your grace. And we thank you because of who you are in our lives. Father, this morning we appreciate your goodness and mercy. And we are asking that God, you continue to teach us resilience, to trust and to obey. And just like Abraham did, we are asking that you will give us the spirit that was behind Abraham's move. And so he was blessed to become the father of nations. Help us, Lord, to be blessed in our environment. Help us, God, to show forward your direction and to lift us, O oh God. This is our prayer this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The good Lord bless you. The good Lord be with you. Trust and obey. This has been your host, Pastor Johnston Sack. We're coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and to obey. God bless you.